Welcome everyone to St. Edwards University in the heart of the amazing city of Austin, the state capital of Texas. We're just a few miles from Austin's trendy SoCo district, an incredibly vibrant downtown. Founded in 1885, this dynamic, private, Catholic university, also known as St. Ed's, is home to more than 3,500 creative thinkers and innovators from around the globe. Students here love the small class sizes, outstanding academics, hands-on learning, and personal attention from professors and mentors who support their success. And they're passionate about their university's dedication to social justice and improving the world. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we'll explore this beautiful Hilltop campus. We'll hear from Hilltoppers about how St. Edwards is preparing them to go full on in their dream careers and to be leaders and change makers in whatever path they choose. We'll also see why Austin is ranked a top college city with world-class internships and jobs and endless entertainment and fun. Be ready to be impressed, everyone. This is gonna be a great episode. Welcome to the Hilltop. This is the College Tour. First up, everyone, is Miriam, a senior majoring in both environmental science and policy and political science. Miriam has been involved in some impressive internships and research at St. Ed's and has given her fantastic real world experience. She's gonna share her story and where she's headed next. You're on, Miriam. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Hilltop. Over the past four years, St. Edwards University has empowered and encouraged me to take on my world, both inside and out of the classroom. One of the biggest growths you go through is when you start college. You move away from home, you meet new people, and you really grow into the person that you're meant to be. St. Edwards both educates you and helps you get your foot in the door. So by the time that you graduate, you have connections in your field and a sense of direction. You're also connected to internships that align with your studies and passions. I've interned for Environment America, Move Texas in their Civic Leadership Program, and most recently for the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Here, I helped create policy recommendations to help winterize water systems across the state. This past summer, I was funded through the St. Edwards Hook Fellowship to do research on soil sequestration in the Hill Country grasslands. My research partner and I are currently working on getting our findings published in an academic journal. Had it not been for the one-on-one -on -one relationships with my professors at St. Edwards, I would have never thought something like this was possible, especially in undergrad. I also serve as the head tour guide where I get to connect with prospective students, help them navigate the college search, and share what I love most about St. Ed's, like the personal relationship with your professors. At a small university, your professors are a part of your support system, sharing their wisdom and their experience. With endless support from my advisors, professors, and peers, I'll be graduating this year with a plan to make my dream a reality, becoming an environmental lawyer pursuing climate equity for a more just world. Because of St. Edwards University, I've developed into the best possible version of myself. Well, that's my view from the hilltop. Back to you, Alex. Miriam, thank you. Your experience is such a great example of the incredible academic opportunities, hands-on learning, and personal support that make the St. Edwards experience so rewarding. Congrats on your amazing internships and research, and best of luck as you pursue your dream of being an environmental lawyer. You'll be brilliant. Take care. Okay, everyone, let's meet Carla. She's a senior majoring in communication. She's gonna tell us why St. Edwards has been the perfect school for her. And we'll hear how St. Ed's location and connections in Austin provide incredible opportunities for Hilltoppers. Okay, Carla, it is all yours. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. I'm a first-gen student, so when I first started looking for a college, I had no idea what I was looking for. I did know that I wanted to live in Austin for its thriving job market and to surround myself with creative and inspiring individuals. When I found out St. Edwards is located on SoCo and is a school that values diversity and community, I knew it was the college for me. 
I love the way St. Edward's has helped me grow and build a strong path for my future through mentors and networking. I chose to study communication with a focus in public relations and advertising. Because classes are small, you really get to interact and connect with your professors. In class, we're given real-world projects, like creating a PR plan for an Austin nonprofit. My professors guided me and taught me how to gain connections that have truly launched my PR career. As the media manager for the Bumble Ambassador Program on campus, I get to lead and create social media content, host events, and participate in guerrilla marketing. I am also interning at an amazing PR firm here in Austin, where I get to work with some pretty cool clients. And back on campus, I'm proud to serve as the president of the PR club. St. Edwards has made it easy for me to navigate school, have an exciting social life, and find my place in a big city. The hands-on learning environment and prioritization of experiential learning is a big reason for my success. Not only is there inspiration and resources everywhere you look, but you get to live in one of the most exciting and beautiful cities with a great combo of nature, art, and a strong job market. I love hiking at Zilker Park, paddleboarding at Ladybird or Barton Springs, and of course, walking down SoCo and grabbing pizza at Home Slice. St. Edward's supportive and diverse community has helped me grow professionally and personally in many ways. I have gained a knowledge and a passion for PR, all while having a blast in the live music capital of the world. I cannot wait to start working at a PR agency here in Austin once I graduate from St. Ed's. Back to you, Alex. Carla, thank you for letting us see what a phenomenal city Austin is for St. Ed's students. I can't wait to experience Zilker Park and SoCo and try the pizza at Home Slice. And congrats on your cool internship with an Austin PR agency and being a media ambassador with Bumble. That is incredible. You're building terrific job skills. Keep up the great work, Carla. Next up is Evan, a big adventure seeker. He's a junior majoring in communication, and he's excited to share his personal story about being a student at St. Edward's. We can't wait to hear about all the academic and social activities he's involved with on the hilltop, and there are many. Okay, Evan, you're on. Thanks for the welcome, Alex. Hey, everyone. When it came to finding the college that was right for me, I knew that I wanted to go somewhere where I could have my own fun and exciting adventure and also be kind of far away from home. In St. Edwards, it's been the perfect fit for me. I've always been someone who likes to try new things and have many different interests. Whether it be academics, athletics, clubs, or internships, I've been able to find them all here at St. Edwards and experience them, which has resulted in an adventure of a lifetime. Although we may be considered a smaller university, the opportunities for involvement are endless. In just three years alone, I've been able to leverage so many of the opportunities St. Edward has to offer, like club volleyball, oh. honors program, student government, orientation, Peace. campus ministry, admissions, and internships. But the best part is I get to do all these great things in the heart of the city, where my school life blends perfectly with Austin's food and music scenes, and not to mention outdoor recreation. My favorite thing to do is to play beach volleyball at Silker Park, grab some Torchy's tacos, and then some Amy's ice cream to finish off the perfect day. I really do get to have the best of both worlds. There are so many ways to get involved here at St. Edwards, and there's something for everyone. You can find your fit here. Because of St. Ed's, I've received a top tier Holy Cross education, made lifelong friends and memories, and I've been able to pursue an acting career with a highly reputable agent and manager in Hollywood, while also having a job offer for me at one of the country's fastest growing tech companies in Snowflake after I graduate. St. Ed's has given me the opportunity to have an active social life and also to chase and pursue my dreams. I couldn't be happier as a Hilltopper, and St. Edward's has truly given me the opportunity and adventure of a lifetime. Well, I think it's time for me to go back to class. Take it away, Alex. Evan, you are one busy guy. Between your academic achievements, internship, club sport teams, band, volunteering, and enjoying Austin, you're absolutely taking advantage of everything St. Ed's offers. Congrats on your job offer with a big tech company and pursuing your career in entertainment. We all know you're gonna do great things, and I hope we bump shoulders in Hollywood down the road. 
Cheers, Evan. Next, we'll meet Mary Elizabeth, a senior majoring in criminal justice. She has an awesome experience to share about her academic journey on the hilltop. She'll tell us how she chose her major and found her passion, and about the individual attention and academic support she's received that has helped her be successful. Mary Elizabeth, we can't wait to hear your story. You're on. Thanks for that introduction, Alex. Hey everyone, coming into college, I didn't have any idea what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew this would be the place to help me figure it all out. I changed majors three times and joined different organizations to find my fit. From the start, my success coach helped me in my academic journey by planning out courses and potential majors. She encouraged me to take a criminal justice class because I had an interest in the legal system. I met with my professor after the first class to learn more about the field and went back to my success coach to change majors right away. That's how amazing the first class was. My criminal justice professors provided endless support and made themselves available to help me with challenging classes, research papers, and guidance on internship opportunities. I also took a social work class and fell in love. My professor and faculty advisor helped me navigate a way to branch these two fields together while also keeping my communication minor. From office hours to research meetings, my professors have been active participants and mentors in both my personal and academic journey. It's been challenging adjusting my personal roadmap over the years, but having that constant encouragement and help made me feel supported. Learning from professors who have real world experience and who make the material come to life through their commitment, enthusiasm, and knowledge helped me find my passion. With their guidance, I conducted and developed my own research, created an honors thesis, and participated in field experiences like simulations, mock trials, presentations, and court visits. With this real world experience, I am ready for my first internship. St. Edward's small academic environment allowed me to truly know my professors, success coach, faculty advisor, and classmates. The commitment to developing the full student, not just the mind, shows the university's dedication to helping each student find their purpose while making lifelong connections along the way. St. Ed's taught me to go after what I want and that college is about more than just preparing for a job. It's about having the tools and support you need to find your calling and to find yourself. Well, that's my story, or at least a part of it. Back to you, Alex. Mary Elizabeth, thank you for sharing your inspiring story. It's great to hear about the personal support St. Ed's students can count on from their success coach and professors that help them succeed. And congrats on your academic achievements and finding your passion and purpose. That is so important. No doubt you are going places. Take care. Next up is Lalo, a senior majoring in biology. He's gonna share a little about his background and why he chose St. Edwards. And he'll tell us about some cool neuroscience research he's involved in with his professors and classmates and where he's headed after graduation. Lalo, take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. I grew up in South Texas and was raised by two first-generation Mexican-Americans. Living close to the border, I saw the healthcare disparities present in Mexico compared to the U.S. These disparities, alongside my family's experiences as migrant farm workers, gave me the desire to become an emergency medical technician to use my skills to help underserved communities. I chose St. Andrews University because this liberal arts college was known for having smaller class sizes and a great teacher-to-student ratio. This allowed me to get close to my professors that were teaching my science courses and led me to be a part of a research team which has exposed me to the side of scientific inquiry. My interest in biology stems from a yearning to understand how the fundamentals of life came to be, from DNA to neuronal development. Having a liberal arts education offers crucial aspects to building strong communication skills and the ability to understand different perspectives, which is important for healthcare the overall diversity with the students on campus has enriched my educational experience. My sophomore year, I joined Dr. Andrea Olgado's neuroscience research team where we learned more about the model organism Sonora of Ditus elegans to study autophagy in neurons. Currently, my lab partners and I are exploring mutations which can lead to diseases such as Alzheimer's. This hands-on learning experience has given me the opportunity to develop presentations for the Society for Neuroscience, work with a National Science Foundation grant, and conduct experiments involving Western blotting techniques and fluorescent microscopy. Obtaining a liberal arts education here at St. Edward's University has broadened my capacity for social responsibility. 
I've applied for a Fulbright student grant to study and teach English in another country after graduation. Upon my return, my plan is to continue with my EMT certification to gain clinical experience. That's all from me. Back to you, Alex. Lalo, you'll be a fantastic EMT and physician assistant. Thanks for letting us see how professors at St. Ed's get to know their students and team up with them on amazing research. Those experiences are awesome for your future. And we're all pulling for you to win that Fulbright grant to teach overseas. Take care. Okay, everyone, we're about to hear from Sierra, a junior majoring in psychology. She loves living on the hilltop and is involved in all kinds of campus activities. She's gonna tell us about St. Edward's energetic campus life and why the hilltop is her home away from home. Sierra, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. My college search experience was very rough. I had no idea where I wanted to go, and because I started so late, I didn't get a chance to visit many schools. What I did know was that I wanted a small, diverse school in a new city. The moment I stepped onto this campus, it felt like home. Not only was the campus gorgeous, but everyone was so welcoming, and it felt like faculty and staff generally wanted me to be happy here. My freshman year, I joined the cheer team and lived on campus. Living on campus made my transition from home easier because I had more opportunities to make friends and get involved. I am a bit of a worrier and I do get anxious sometimes, but I found a great support system here. I am having tons of fun and I'm finding my footing. My initial instinct of the school feeling like home was correct. The second semester of my freshman year, I suffered a deep personal loss. All I wanted to do was go home in Maryland to be with my family. Being so far away from home was very difficult, but the overwhelming amount of support that I got from my friends and university staff reminded me of why I chose this school and why I wanted to stay. This is my second home. There are tons of things to experience on campus. I love showing prospective students the hilltop as a tour guide, being an orientation leader and welcoming new students to campus, and I love helping run the club cheer team. For my senior year, I'm hoping to study abroad and start an internship to gain real world experience. I'm constantly talking to my faculty advisors and success coaches to identify what I need to do to achieve my goals. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Sierra, for pointing out the many, many advantages of living on the hilltop and what it means to you. Living here really puts students in the heart of St. Ed's amazing campus life and all the activities, support, and fun this community offers. Cheers, Sierra. Hilltoppers have tremendous campus traditions and school spirit, especially when it comes to their NCAA sports teams and their club sports. Mimi is up next. She's a freshman majoring in marketing and she plays varsity soccer. She'll tell us what it's like to be a student athlete at St. Ed's and a part of their championship athletic program. We'll also hear how St. Ed's supports the outstanding academic achievements of its athletes. Mimi, give us a scoop, you are on. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Hey everyone. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to play college soccer. After being recruited by several schools across the country, I chose St. Ed's because of its highly successful soccer program, commitment to social justice, diverse student body, and location here in the city of Austin, Texas. Yeah! Wow, here we go. He's a hilltopper. Here the go. Here the go. So far, my experience as a student athlete has been everything I hoped it would be. At St. Edwards, we have 10 NCAA varsity sports that compete in the Division II Lone Star Conference. We also have 16 different club teams, such as cheer, lacrosse, and rugby. There are plenty of ways to get involved with athletics. Over the past 20 years, St. Edwards athletic teams have won over 60 conference titles and advanced to the NCAA tournament more than 75 times. The Lone Star Conference is very competitive, which brings out a lot of Hilltopper spirit and pride. School rivalries, senior night, and the Battle of the Saints always draw out huge crowds. Something that makes St. Edwards Athletics special is that we are valued as students, not just athletes. Our team is high achieving in the classroom because our coaches encourage us to take challenging and rigorous courses. 
They accommodate our academic needs by proctoring tests on the road or encouraging student athletes to leave training early for their classes. I have also received tremendous academic support from my success coach, free tutoring and therapy. No matter what club or team you join here, you will develop real world skills. St. Edwards has taught me the value of teamwork, time management and goal setting. I've also built connections with other students and athletes that will last a lifetime. That's all from me. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Mimi, for sharing your story and giving us a great look at how popular the Hilltopper athletic teams and club sports competitions are. It's no secret that school spirit and traditions are thriving at St. Ed's. Good luck in your next soccer match, Mimi, and toppers up. Staying healthy both physically and mentally is vital to helping you get the most out of college and life. Rory, a senior majoring in communication, is up next. He'll tell us about the many resources and opportunities at St. Edwards that support your total health and well-being. You are on, Rory. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Being a college student is really fun and exciting, but it's also incredibly stressful and overwhelming at times. I've been really fortunate to be able to maintain an overall well-being while simultaneously balancing friends, activities, events, work, school, and trying to plan for the future. But juggling all of these things is really just a lot to ask of yourself. St. Edwards and Livewell SCU has provided me with countless resources that I need to take care of all these things and myself. The Recreation and Athletic Center, or as we like to call it here on campus, the RAC, provides opportunities for more than just your physical health, but also emotional, environmental, and social well-being. Anytime I need to unwind, I can use the Tech Free Lounge, sign up for a class in the fitness studio, or sign up for wellness coaching. As a student worker in the RAC, I'm surrounded by incredible faculty, staff, peers, who all value and encourage the pursuit of well-being. The student-led workshops for both physical and mental health have really changed my life and helped me to grow throughout my years here at school. And I've been able to balance all of this with my studies through the support of my success coaches and faculty advisors. LiveWell SEU has provided me opportunities to boost my emotional, vocational, and social well-being. The St. Edwards community has helped me and supported me, giving me all the tools that I need to effectively and successfully take charge of my life. And so here's a little bit of wisdom that I've gained. Take care of yourself first, because then naturally, the rest will follow. Back to you, Alex. Will do, Rory, great advice. Thanks for sharing your story on this incredibly important topic. It's great to see how St. Ed's is committed to helping students take care of every aspect of their health and well-being. Live Well SEU is an awesome asset for Hilltoppers. Congrats on making your health a priority. And Rory, I gotta get one of those nap pods. That's awesome. Take care. St. Edwards has a unique mission. It's inspired by its founders, the Congregation of Holy Cross. Here to talk more about that is Liam. He's a sophomore majoring in English literature. Liam will tell us how St. Ed's Holy Cross tradition and values originally drew him here and how it has truly enhanced his experience on the hilltop. Okay, Liam, you're up. Please take it away. Thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. My dad has worked as an educator at a Holy Cross High School for almost 30 years. So when it came time for me to look at colleges, I knew I could find a home in the Holy Cross community that had surrounded me my entire life. From the moment I stepped on campus, this was the place for me. St. Edward's stood out as a school that would provide the Holy Cross community and values that I've held close throughout my life. The campus ministry retreat experiences I've had show me how St. Edwards fosters a faith-based environment where all are welcome and accepted. On the hilltop, I've connected with others who share my values and who strive to get involved in the campus community. St. Edwards is rooted in its mission to provide a liberal arts education that challenges students to take risks and develop critical thinking skills, which sets us apart from other colleges. 
St. Edward's is committed to educating the hearts and minds of students within the Holy Cross community. The dedicated and supportive professors, advisors, and staff, along with the inclusive and diverse student body, make St. Edward's a place where all are welcome. The people, the Holy Cross community, and the campus life remind me every day that this is the place for me, and I've loved every minute of my experience here. That's it for me. Back to you, Alex. Liam, thank you for sharing your personal story. You've really opened our eyes to the meaning and lifelong impact of St. Edward's Holy Cross tradition and its commitment to educating minds and hearts with St. Ed's welcoming, inclusive community. It's no wonder students feel at home here. Cheers, Liam. Let's head over to meet Michelle, who has an awesome story to share. She's a first-generation student majoring in political science. Her opportunities at St. Ed's, as well as being in Austin, the Texas State Capitol, have opened amazing doors, and she'll tell us all about them. Okay, Michelle, you are on. Thank you, Alex. Hello, everyone. Being born and raised in El Paso, Texas, I always felt very at home as a first-generation Mexican-American. However, I knew that I needed to leave my community in order to step into my fullest potential and follow my passion for advocacy and change-making. I wanted to attend college in the capital city, Austin, and felt a calling to the Texas State Legislature. The guidance and mentorship I received at St. Edwards has been priceless. I became involved on campus as a resident assistant, senator for student government, and president of a pre-law fraternity. Earlier this year, I became a full-time legislative assistant as a fellow for a senator that represents my hometown. Then, over the summer, I interned for a congresswoman that represents the district my family lives in through the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. As a St. Edwards University McNair Scholar, I conducted research studying how educational attainment impacts the representation of Latinos in Congress. I found that even though Congress is the most racially and ethnically diverse in history, it is still not proportional to the Latino population in the U.S. I hope to fill one of those spaces one day. St. Edwards has given me the tools that I need to live fully and follow my passions. With guidance from my professors and other faculty, I have been able to create the college experience of my dreams. When I committed to St. Edwards, I knew that they were committing to me too. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Michelle, congrats on following your dream. Your leadership activities and research are super, super impressive. So are your internships at the Texas State Capitol and with the Texas Legislature. Thank you for showing us how your St. Ed's experience is preparing you for your goal of joining Congress and making a difference. Thanks again. Okay, everyone, touring St. Edwards University has been an absolute blast. You all chose an amazing university. <laughs> A big thank you to all the awesome Hilltoppers we met today. They gave us a great look at this amazing university in Austin and why they love their experiences here. And a special thank you to you for joining us to explore this beautiful campus and the outstanding opportunities students have here. That's it from me. Now it's up to you all to go learn more about St. Edwards University for yourself. And hopefully we'll see you on the Hilltop real soon. Toppers up, everyone. Cheers, guys. Woo!